we start my valedictory speech with a beautiful song. And I expect everyone to sing it with me because it's popular. It's the song we sing on the field of play after we score a goal. Oh, she, oh, she, oh, oh, she, oh. expresses my feelings today and I'm just full of gratitude to God the Almighty for me, for my caucus, the Southwest caucus, and for all caucuses, all members of this house. It has been a very interesting journey but nobody can say that we didn't give it our all. The eighth assembly is a successful assembly by any standard. I thank God for all of us. We can live here with our heads held high. And we know that at the end of the day, the legacies that we live here is going to speak for us. First, I thank the Southwest Caucus members for finding me worthy to lead the caucus. We tried our best and we held the house together. My only prayer now is that the night assembly <clears throat> will strengthen the caucuses and ensure that members interact more freely they should unite so that the harmonious relationship that we have started this time is going to be further strengthened in, in the night assembly. Let us learn to forgive ourselves. Because even the Holy Book say we should forgive those who offend us so that God can forgive us. If we have the spirit of forgiveness, there won't be much problem. There will be harmony, there will be <coughs> unity, and there will be further development, which will go from here to the outside. Apart from that, I, I want the Ninth Assembly to try to find a way to reach out to the people outside the legislature to, to, to make sure that a, a lot of misconceptions that the people on the outside have about the National Assembly is, is really reduced. We need to do more. We need to talk more. We need, and all of us have to be ambassadors of the National Assembly. Anywhere we find ourselves, we need to talk to the people. Let them understand the processes, what we go through here. And especially, I have an example of the constituency project thing. It's a project. It's no money. We need to continuously tell people we do not have the money. We have projects. And I will beg all of us, especially returning members, it's the best way to show it is to make sure that in each constituency, whatever project you put in the budget, let your people see it. Do your projects. Then they will know that you are not holding on to money. Now, Mr. Speaker, another reason that I think we should be very grateful to those of us here is that some of our members started with us. And God has taken them away. They could not sit here with us. We should remember that they did not wish for that. And those of us that are here, it is not by our power, it's not by our might, it is just the grace of God. I especially want to mention a Southwest member, Dr. Elijah Adewale. He was a very good man, a very, very good man. 
but God has taken him away. We miss him, and we pray for, I pray, for the repose of his soul and the souls of the others that have gone before us. Finally, my colleagues, especially those that are not coming back, let me tell you, this is the end of a session, is the end of the Eighth Assembly. The Assembly ends, but the grace of God continues. God bless you all. Thank you.